So my name is Mike Morris and I'm just an ordinary American like most of you out there that's tired of the way our government's being run, the way our country is being run, and where we're headed. And I'm really afraid of what's down the road for not only ourselves but our kids and our grandkids. Something needs to be done to change it. We have a system that's really broken and I believe we can fix it. I, I sat back and I thought about it and it's easy for everybody to sit back and complain uh, from you know at what's happening in our economy to the health care to uh, education you name it I mean we go down the line and but we can change it together uh, a lot of people are believe their vote doesn't count and individually uh, yeah the vote doesn't count but collectively in unison our vote can make a huge difference. We can change our whole government. If you think about it, it's very simple. If we all, as a, uni a unified body, decided to change our system, all we have to do is go and vote out all the incumbents. Any elected official that's already been in there, let's vote them out this next election and all subsequent elections. Now think about how easy that is. In a matter of this November and the following November, we'll clean out and have a, a, a totally new uh, Congress. And we won't have the old guard in there, we'll have new guard that we have elected and we control. We have people in there, been in there so long, they're controlled by lobbyists, they're controlled by corporations. and they don't even listen to us. I've sent letters to my congressmen, congresswomen, senators, and they don't listen. They don't respond back. It's like anything that we suggest doesn't count. Well, it's time our voice is heard, and we can do that by banding together as one to vote out our elected officials our, that are incumbents today. Um, and that's an easy thing to do if we all do it together. We don't need to be voting party lines. We're finding out it doesn't matter what party's in office. Our country keeps deteriorating. It's time for us to take our situation in our own hands, and it's an easy thing to do. So the first step in this process is vote out. I set up a, a website called FixOurDream.com because I believe we need to fix our dream, and I think there's a lot of you out there that feel the same way and we need to take action to do it. So let's take that first step and vote out these incumbents and that'll be our first step. Then the second step, once we get the government changed, then we can start um, demanding that term limits be set on the House of Representatives, the Senators, the President. We can, we can set the term limits. By once we get the people in, we can demand that they be set. There's one section on my website, it's called History. And go to that tab, and it talks about our Constitution and when there's a need for a change in government. It's a very basic thing. And then, secondly, there's a whole idea of when our founding fathers set up our government. Some of them believed that it was crucial that there be term limits set. They felt that anybody that served longer than a, a one term would lead to corruption in our government, and we're seeing that today. So that would be the second step in our process. And then the third step in this process that I've envisioned is a forum for you and I and everybody else for change. And then I set up a forum on the website from, I, I've got categories, and those categories can be changed from term limits to campaign reform lobbyists and corporation influence, government spending and deficits, tax reform, health care reform, Medicare and Social Security, the judicial system, military foreign affairs, national security, education system, and so on. And I set up a forum for ideas because our whole country was shaped and formed based on what people believed in and their ideas. And that's how we got to be great. And we can become great again because we have a lot of people out there, you and I, that have good ideas for change. I set this forum up as a way to submit ideas, not complain about the system. I don't want to hear any more about 
what's broken, we know it's broken. How are we going to fix it? So this forum, I encourage everybody to submit their ideas and we'll build upon those ideas. And then once those ideas, we get enough ideas, we'll form a policy statement that we will submit to our uh, congressional people for, to make changes in the country. And we'll take a vote on it so that they see by, by virtue of the numbers of the people that are voting on this, that that's what the people want. And I think we can make some major changes in the way things are done. But the first step in the process is we have to vote out the incumbents. And our vote does count, but it has to be in unison. And that's what this revolution, this new revolution, has to be about. It isn't about violence. Violence isn't going to solve anything right now. What we need is to work together and be smart. And the first step in that process is to vote out the incumbents. And once we get them voted out, then we can start dictating the changes that we need in our government and in policies um, to make things better for you and I and our children and our grandkids. So please join the Renew Revolution, and you can on fix it, uh, fixourdream.com. Again, fixourdream.com. And, and join in, encourage others, uh, pass the web link my, uh, to the website to other people you know, and let's start this revolution of changing our government. And we can do it. I mean, it's, think about it. It's an easy thing to do.